welcome friends this is the video about catalase test and you all know that this test is used to differentiate those bacteria that produce an enzyme catalase so there is an enzyme known as catalase which is present in staphylococci bacteria and we want to differentiate this bacteria staphylococcus from those bacteria which are non catalase producing means this enzyme catalase is present in a staph and this is absent from the group streptococci and you all know that both these bacteria they are gram positive cocci if you see in the smear you will see that purple color uh, cocci means ball like structures are present so by just by seeing the a gram staining you are not sure whether it is staphylococci or streptococci although we say that staphylococci they are arranged in clusters and they are little bigger than the streptococci which are arranged in short chains or longer chains but still we should go with this test catalase test and we should perform this test so that we can come to know whether it is a staphylococci or it is a streptococci so what happened that in catalase test uh, these staphylococci they produce this enzyme catalase as you know that ase as is there so it suggests that it is an enzyme so this enzyme is present in staphylococci but it is absent in streptococci so what we do we do some test so that we can check whether catalase is there in the bacteria or it is not there in the bacteria so now coming to the principle that what is the principle behind this test catalase act as the catalyst it act as a catalyst means this enzyme is going to uh, increase the reactivity of any reaction so in the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to oxygen and water so if you have hydrogen peroxide then what will happen that is this catalase will break this hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water very fast so this will uh, increase the uh, speed of the reaction so an organism is tested for catalase production by bringing it into contact with the hydrogen peroxide so what we do we take hydrogen peroxide and as we know that this bacteria is having catalase what will happen that when you are going to put this hydrogen peroxide to that particular bacteria if you are going to mix that bacteria in this hydrogen peroxide what will happen if the enzymes are present what these enzymes will do they will change this hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water so this is the principle of this reaction that bacteria is having catalase and this catalase will break the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water so what will happen that this catalase can be tested in the enzyme because, sorry in the bacteria because you are going to add this hydrogen peroxide to this particular bacteria so what will happen due to the production of oxygen because oxygen is a gas so what will happen bubbles will come out if there is production of oxygen in the hydrogen peroxide drop now and this can only happen if the bacteria is having catalase the culture should not be more than 24 hours old because if you take the older cultures the enzyme won't work nicely there is a you can perform this in the tube here you can see this is a catalase test tube and we are adding the colony in it so the enzyme in these bacteria 
they are breaking this H2O2 into water and oxygen and this can show that this bacteria is having catalase that is why we are getting these oxygen bubbles. Now what is required for the test? So hydrogen peroxide is required for the test that is 3% H2O2 and this is very important that one should know how much percentage of hydrogen peroxide should be there. So it should be 3%, right? And 10 volume solution, if you want to know what it is, we can go uh, in the index of this book and we can see that appendix, appendix are there in the back of this book. So how we are going to perform this test? Pour 2 to 3 ml of hydrogen peroxide solution into a test tube and then use a sterile wooden stick or a glass rod and then not a nichrome wire loop. Why we never take nichrome wire loop or why we don't take uh, iron loop or something like this. We always take wooden stick or the glass, uh, glass rod to remove the uh, colonies because you know that iron iron itself it act as a catalyst for this reaction so we just avoid it now the important thing here is that care should must be taken when testing an organism cultured on a medium containing blood if you are isolating or if you are picking up the organism from the plate which is a blood agar plate or blood is there in that plate then you should take care of because these RBCs they also have catalase so this can give you false results so we always say don't use the loops metallic loops or don't pick the colony from those agars having the blood in it so that they can give the false result because RBC also have a catalase enzyme. If any of the blood agar is removed with the organism, a false positive reaction may occur and this thing is always asked in the exam that what are the causes of false positive because MBBS students and uh, juniors can perform this test and they can do this mistake that they can pick the colony from the blood agar or uh, if they are picking it then they don't take care that the media should not come from the colony what we do we use the glass slide corner or we use the uh, cover slip corner to just uh, pick the colony from the blood agar and it should be done very carefully and with lot of expertise and the result is that if active bubbling is there we say it is a positive catalase test and if no bubbles are there then we say negative catalase test so this is how we should perform now what cautions one should take while performing the catalase test performing the test on the test uh, slide is not recommended because of the risk of contamination from active bubbling so we should avoid doing it on the slide because they say that contamination can take place uh, and uh, due to the active bubbling of it when a rapid slide technique is used the hydrogen peroxide solution should be added to the organism suspension after placing the slide in the petri dish so it is better that if you want to perform it on the slide then what you do you just keep it inside the slide sorry inside the petri dish the dish should then be covered immediately and the preparation observed for bubbling 
through the lid and because uh, this can be checked or seen from the lid because it is of glass glass petri dish should be taken so that once you perform the test on the slide because if you don't want to perform it in the tube then what you do you just do it inside the petri dish to avoid the contamination of this uh, material now what are the positive catalase control if you want to see whether your test is okay or not then you should use always controls and for positive catalase control one should use staphylococcus species and for negative catalase control you should use uh, streptococcus species so if your control that means a staph if it is giving positive for the h2o2 uh, then you should understand that your h2o2 is okay your test what you have performed is done uh, nicely and um, if your negative control is giving you negative test that means everything is okay your performance of the test is well uh, means you have performed it nicely and your h2o2 and the reagents are uh, quite good and they are satisfactory so that is all about the catalase test and here you can see we do it to differentiate staphylococcus from streptococcus and it is a very important test which is done in microbiology laboratory so thank you if you have any queries questions then please write in the comment box